He is an American guy living in Taichung. He's well educated, well traveled, and well and truly in love with Taiwan. So I wanted to ask him why he came to Taiwan. What made him choose Taiwan? And here is what he told me. Yeah. So where were you before Taiwan? So my first job was in Romania, and then I was in Austria, and then Hungary, and then the Republic of Georgia. When I came to Taiwan, you were still a young, a young, young woman. Okay, so you're in all of those countries, and then what made you choose to come to Taiwan? Right, I have a very good friend from Taiwan that I've known for over 20 years now, who is、uh, we were exchange students together in Germany when we were in high school, and he suggested, "Why don't you come to Taiwan?" It, it all happened very, very quickly. You know, I applied for a job in Taiwan or through a recruiter. One day, and and then the next day, I woke up and they said, "Oh, a school wants to interview you." And I interviewed at the school at midnight on the Fourth of July, and I went to bed and I woke up the next morning <laughs> and there was a contract in my email, and I and then they said, you know, let us know by the end of the week, and I、oh. said, all right, let's do it, and that's and that's how I came to to the school that where I met you, so <laughs> just like that, I know, so、um, yeah, it just. It just—it was the right move for me, I think, at that point in my life. So James is obviously very passionate about Europe. I'm curious what it was like coming from Europe to Taiwan, his first Asian country. Here he is. And what did you think when you first arrived? Like you said, you've done Europe, you've been teaching in Europe, and then you arrived in Taiwan, your first Asian country. I mean, I immediately hated the weather, and I still hate the weather. So that I didn't like. But the culture, the food, everything about it—you know—it was August, so it was like the middle of Ghost Month. You know, going into the center of Longtan, and just like having them having all the ceremonies, like at the temple in the center of town, and like having all the offerings out,、yeah. and like like playing like the traditional music. And just being like, whoa, 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I'd been to a lot of countries at that point. I was not like, you know, fresh out of my own like small town in Ohio or whatever.、Um, I'd seen a fair amount of the world, but it was so different and it was so intense. <laughs> and yeah, I just I loved it. I thought it was great, and it was it was exciting to be so excited again. So I actually met James in Longtan, Longtan of all places. Come on, you're asking the same question, right? Why Longtan? What made him choose Longtan as his first destination, as his first home in Taiwan? <laughs> I have a funny story about that. So in the interview, you could tell that they were nervous about describing Longtan to me <laughs> and the situation, and they were like, you know, now it is not Taipei. It is a little bit more rural, and they were really, they were really trying to like let me down easy. And I told them, "Listen, I just lived in a village in the Republic of Georgia with one thousand five hundred people, where there where there were more like cows than there were people. It's like I think that I'll be fine in like Longtan, you know. So it ended up not being a problem for me because I had come from, you know, an even more kind of rural setting in my previous job. So yeah, it was good, and I was there for two years." So at one point, James left us. How dare he! So obviously, in Taiwan, many foreigners do move on. So the question is, why? What made him want to leave? I definitely feel like Taiwan is my second home. I felt that after a while, the first time. I feel that now. However, I don't have a family here. I connect to it sort of in a different way, maybe than. Some other foreign teachers would like. I, I've never really gotten, you know, super integrated into the expat community. Even though it feels like home, even though you have friends, even though you feel、um, comfortable there and you and you like it, you, 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 it, it <laughs> it's not really. It's I wouldn't call it homesickness. It's just. Um, you know, I'd been here for six years. You did want to be with your family. I did want to be with my family. I did want to be with my family. And at some point, you feel like maybe just seeing them for a month every summer isn't isn't quite enough. And so, after being home for six months, I got a job in Czech Republic, 
and I went to work in Prague. It was a little bit hard. The life there is not quite as convenient as Taiwan. And I was like, I really think I'm starting to feel comfortable. I think I'm getting the hang of this. And then COVID happened. And I went home again. I needed to find a way to, you know, live a decent life. And so I said, well, <laughs> well what makes the most sense, right? Taiwan. And, and I felt like after I did my hotel quarantine for two weeks, that that was like the last. <laughs> Because it, it was almost exactly one year after after the COVID outbreak had, had, had you know, went everywhere. And so I was like, finally, I'm done with COVID, you know, Yay! after that, right. And so when I started my job in Taichung, I was like, good, now I can finally get back to my normal life. Then I started seeing a pattern. Every place <laughs> I go, in two months, COVID comes. So next country, you better watch out. Don't let me in your country. I'll bring it, man. I'll bring the COVID. So... You see yeah. all these investors getting their, their online like, oh. teaching They're like, oh, ready. James Ritto's in Japan now. This is not good. This is not good. Yeah. So after Taiwan opened up again, I've been to Tainan, Kaohsiung, you know, Danshui, Zhanghua, like everywhere. I mean, Nanto. I, I've, I've gone everywhere, um, either by myself or with friends. And, you know, I've, I've tried to come to Taipei, you know, tried to come every month. And so I really just kind of been taking advantage of the fact that, you know, we're just, can. <laughs> yeah, that I can, that I can, you know, I'm, I'm getting it when the getting's good, right? So. So I was really interested to understand what was different about returning to Taiwan? How did it feel returning compared to coming for the first time? And here's what James had to say about it. When I first came to Taiwan, everything was new. When I came back, it just, it was just an overwhelming sense of comfort. I mean, I remember when I left the quarantine hotel, I came to Taichung, waking up my first day in my new apartment and walking downstairs to a breakfast shop and buying danping. And then just like, you know, and like soy milk and then like sitting in the courtyard and then just being like, okay, this makes sense. You know what I mean? Like this is, this is like normal. Like, oh, this is home. Yeah, exactly, right? exactly. Home. So yeah, that, that's been very, that's been very nice. So I've mentioned before that as a foreigner in Taiwan, wherever you are in the world, you're going to be homesick. If you're in Taiwan, you're homesick for your own country. And when you go back to your own country, you're homesick for Taiwan. So I really wanted to know what James missed most about Taiwan, other than me, obviously. After me. The people. Is that what you wanted to hear? I miss the people. I miss the food. I miss those are the two things: the people and the food. But you know, the the people. I you know, I, I even in my year and a half away, I, I tried to keep in contact with people, and and you know, to keep those connections alive. And with the food, I I learned to I learned to cook Taiwanese food. And, you know, because I mean, I, you know, I, I live in a I'm I'm from a small town in in Ohio. We don't have like an Asian grocery store or whatever. So I would go to a bigger city and just like buy, you know, a hundred dollars worth of ingredients. And then you just get, you know, the meat and the vegetables and, you know, did from you the regular for your store. Did they try? I, I did. Well, yes. Well, yes and no. <laughs> My mother tried some things and liked some things. She liked three cup chicken. I, I made Lou Rofan, she liked that. Um, yeah, so that was sort of my way of, of keeping my connections to Taiwan when I was away. So this is James's story of coming to Taiwan, leaving Taiwan, and returning to Taiwan. Mm -hmm.